total monster. Mean, nasty, hateful person. I can't see anything good in him. Nothing. There will be things that happen that none of us can imagine. That kind of dictatorship. And here's my favorite one. I, he probably practiced this for like an hour. Sociopathic, psychopathic, malignant narcissist. Dangerous person. Idiot. Clown. And he finishes with a cherry on top. Biden's our guy. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're watching the Cartier family. Uh, one of my top three favorite YouTube channels now. These guys put out like three videos a day at least. Um, they're brilliant. Uh, I think they were all former liberals turned conservative. They're all Trumpers. And uh, they're going to react to a little bit of Joe Biden, but mostly Robert De Niro here. And I want you to listen to Robert De Niro and what he says and pay attention to the fact that he doesn't say one thing about Donald Trump and his policies. And they'll point that out. They all acknowledge it. He doesn't say anything. All he does is call him name after name after name. But first we get to watch a little bit of uh, one minute of Uncle Jojo being fun. So here's the Cartier family. I'll put the link in the description if they don't let me because YouTube's kind of weird that way now. I'll put their little logo, um, you know, so you can just Cartier families if you want to see the entire video. All right. So here we go. Last night in the U.S. Capitol, the same building where our freedoms came under assault on July the 6th. In Pennsylvania. July the 6th? Pennsylvania. I have a message for you. July the 6th. Send me to Congress that I can... There's my thumbnail right there. There's my thumbnail. He's like, holy shit, he just said July the 6th. I didn't even right. keep that. I promise you. I did. Right. I I the U.S. Capitol. Send me to Congress. The same building where our freedoms came under assault on July the 6th. In Pennsylvania, <laughs> no, I, I have a message for you. Send me to Congress that I can support this right. And I promise you... We take back Congress. We we will restore Roe v. Wade as the law of the land. Take back Congress. So why is Trump winning? I, I mean, the poll, the New York Times poll this, this week came out, and maybe this will change it with the State of the Union address. But it, but Trump was beating him rather soundly. It was quite a warning light, 48 to 43. Also winning way more among women, women than he had before. Winning outright Latinos. <laughs> what, what do you attribute that to? I don't know. I, I just don't want to feel the way I did, and many, many of us don't, after the election in, 19, in um, 2016. Oh. No, it's crazy. Uh, where we couldn't believe. Oh. It's crazy coming from Robert De Niro knowing he has black children. He all on her side. So winning you know, way different. more among women, yeah. women yeah. than he had before. Winning yeah. outright Latinos. Yeah. What, what do you attribute that to? I don't know. I, I just don't want to feel the way I... It's embarrassing to see an old, white, what are you, 80? And you're still a, what are you, a wokey, brainwashed, dick-sucking, like devil dick-sucking sellout? I used to like Goodfellas and Godfather Part Two and analyze this, whatever. I can't watch a fucking De Niro movie anymore. He's disgusting. This guy's a fucking monstrosity. Let's I go. did, and many, many of us don't. He's not going to say After shit. After the election in, 19, in um, 2016, uh, where we couldn't believe that it happened. The guy <laughs> is a total monster. Oh, my And uh, anybody, I don't understand it. The, I guess they get behind that kind of logic they want to fuck with people, screw them, because they're unhappy about something. He's such a mean, nasty, I'm sorry, hate. I'm gonna keep going, but all I'm hearing right now is him crying. Crying and Emotions. demonizing him. Ad hominem. Not a word about a policy, not a word about a law, not a word about yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just anything that actually affected anything yet. <laughs> no, literally, though. <laughs> and he's not going to. He said, but I just don't want to feel he's just the way I felt. And I just... Uh... My insides hurt. Because they're unhappy about something. He's such a mean, nasty, hateful person. I, I, I never pay, play him as an actor. Because he's... I can't see any good in him. The guy is a total monster. 
And uh, anybody, I don't understand it. The, I guess they get behind that kind of logic. They want to fuck with people, screw them, because they're unhappy about something. He's such a mean, nasty, hateful person. I, I, I never... Where does this come from? You absolute twat. You haven't given us one example yet, you old fucking twat. Give us a quote. Give us something. All you are is a propaganda arm of the Democrat Party or the whatever, you know, the them, the I, whatever it is. But it's just, it's disgusting to see somebody old like this acting like this. You're acting like a 20-year-old pink-haired TikToker, you dumb fucking cunt. Him as an actor because he's, I can't see any good in him. Nothing. Good in him. Nothing at all. Nothing redeemable in him. But no substance from you. Nothing redeemable. Give us some fucking examples, you dumb fuck. Hmm. Um, and we have to, and whoever the people are who want to vote for him, and they look like intelligent Deplorables. people around there. So, I mean, for some reason, it can't be. It cannot be. If he, is, he wins the election. Why? Dude, he's literally. He, you won't be on the show anymore. He's literally saying nothing. He's literally saying nothing here. And now you're going to hear the, the applause and the laugh button come up. And these guys will call it out. The guy on the left here is going to call it out, dude. It's the clap button comes up. Like applause, laugh. Here it comes. More. He'll come Why? looking for me. He'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll be, well, they'll be things that happen that none of us could imagine. Um, that's what happens in that kind of a dictatorship, which is what oh, he said. Wow. Dude, okay, so he was he was president for four years, and he didn't take over like Hitler, like you said he was going to back in 2016 to 2020, or 17 to 21. He didn't do it then, and you're still claiming, dude, this is like playing the scholar's mate at chess, okay? You beat me once, fine. You know, you beat your eight-year-old nephew with the scholar's mate, or Beth Harmon in the basement the first time you played her, Okay. And eight years later, you're still playing the same stupid game? Is De Niro really this fucking stupid? Is he this naive? Or is he senile? Or what the fuck is it? It's called the scholar's mate. Fucking, let's continue. Why he let's didn't do that when he was in office? Don't I know, did man. from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, I said from the very beginning, this guy is never going to concede power. And he still hasn't. No. He still hasn't he just admitted, admitted he lost the last election. And he advertises that he will go on. He, think, he says he's been cheated out of one term. So maybe we should get rid of the only, a president only gets two terms thing. So I think they try When did he ever say that? They just make shit up. Yeah. Donald Trump is out there going, yeah, we need to get rid of the two term limit. When did he say that, you dumb cunt? Trolls, no, I think they're professional trolls. Psychopathic, malignant, they're professional trolls. I think. And he advertises that he will go on. He think he says he's been cheated out of one term. So maybe we should get rid of the only a president only gets two terms. Here comes, thing. Here comes the clap button. So he's a sociopathic, psychopathic, malignant narcissist. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a wow. big word in front of you kids. That is a button. I know it's a button. Nobody's at that show. I don't think. He's, he is a dangerous person. Did, did and we have to real People realize, a lot of people, this audience, but the people who somehow think he's going to be the answer to their prayers, whatever those are. Did you know God him knows. When, when, as fellow New Yorkers? Never wanted to know him. Never wanted to? No. You must he, have crossed. He was an idiot. <laughs> Just turn around his character. <laughs> He, he, was like a clown. To this he was a clown That's in why. New York. He's just attacking his He's a clown in New York, yeah. New York yeah. Now is putting the National Guard clown. in the subway. As a New Yorker, what do you think of that? What do you think they'd say if he did it? Well, if he did it, it's for another reason. Her, her doing it, I, oh. I haven't heard about it. They just told me just uh, before. But I, I, I don't know. I don't have an answer this for that. Insane. I'm not happy about it. But this I'm is insanity. in New York. We're halfway through and he still hasn't said one thing about Trump that means anything other than calling him every name in the book. Uh, I mean, uh, I, you know something about I, that. I, uh, well, I don't played it. Any, it's happened yeah. to you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have got rid of the that's organized crime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a good actor, man. Uh, um, 
I, laugh I button. I, I'm sorry to hear that, and I hope, uh, I don't know, whatever I can do to help alleviate that situation, whatever, I don't know. I don't know. I can't. Well, I think. <sighs> Bobby, there's nothing you can do because you're a fucking actor. Okay, you're worthless, you're useless, you're meaningless, you're a fucking Hollywood actor. There's nothing you can do. So go fucking golf and sit on the beach and drink your fucking Mai Tai and cuss about Donald Trump and go fuck yourself. People feel like there's a lack of common sense on, on the left and the right. Would you at least agree with that? I would agree with that. Right. I, agree that I would that agree with that. A, I would a agree with that. Opening. The, the bottom line is we have to... Biden's our guy. He oh, oh my God! I'm not saying. I just, I just spit my drink out. Biden's our guy. You fucking. There's no way I believe that. There's no fucking way I believe Biden's our guy. He's 160 ton fucking billion years old. He doesn't know what day the fucking week it is. Biden's our guy. You are a devil dick sucking sellout, you fucking twat. I'm almost done with this video. About. Enough said. Um, <laughs> and Trump is, you see, we all. I, I think these guys are done with the video too. We'll see. Not this audience, but. <clears throat> oh, there goes the clap right. button. There goes the clap this button. This audience sees the other people out there now. But I'm going to give it a honey. I'm so upset, bro, if Joe Biden wins. You said it. I think they're pretty much done with this video, and I am too. It's so, it's, it's just, it, you just watched the whole fucking, if, you, if you're still here. He didn't say one fucking thing about Trump. The border, you know, foreign policy, the economy, abortion. He didn't say one thing about anything. All it was was name after name after name. If I saw Robert De Niro in a gas station, or a, a, probably not because he would never go to a gas station, but if I ever saw him like at uh, the Grand Canyon or, you know, I just saw him somewhere, I'd punch him in the face, you know, just like he wants to punch Trump in the face because he's a fucking dog. And I'm never going to watch another Robert De Niro movie again in my fucking life, ever. I won't even watch a fucking, a bit, a one minute bit from a De Niro movie. I love that, that, that scene from Goodfellas where it's, you know, hey, hey, how am I a funny guy? That was Pesci. You know, Pesci's okay. How am I a funny guy? Am I here to amuse you? Yeah, I love that scene. Except De Niro's in it. So fuck it. Fuck any, any movie De Niro's in. This guy is the biggest twat on the face of the fucking earth right now, in America at least. So that being said... Put your comments in, please, and subscribe. Tea out.